Coffee County has seen domestic violence calls go on the increase in the last few years. The sheriff's office responded to two violent calls in the last two days, one resulting in the death of a West Side teacher. KTV News Watch Evans Jessica Perez spoke with the chief deputy about law enforcement response during those calls. Chief Deputy Greg London says as Sarby County's population increases, so have domestic violence calls. Just in the last two days, they responded to a domestic violence murder and they arrested a man for kicking his significant, significant other while she was on the ground. Perfect. That's how Rebecca Geiger's family describes her. A beautiful life taken too soon at the hands of her husband. Our deputies know that going into every domestic violence call that things could change on a dime. That's what happened Monday when authorities say Rory Geiger shot at deputies through a window. One deputy returned fire and Rory was found dead. Sarpy County Chief Deputy Greg London says it's rare for his deputies to respond to a deadly domestic case. People get injured quite often on these calls. As I said, we go to 40 calls a month. Countywide, law enforcement respond to about 125 calls a month. London says many calls are verbal disagreements. If no one goes to jail, uh, we always hand out resource lists, whether the victim is the male or the female. Officers need probable cause for an arrest. If there's a weapon involved, uh, that may bring probable cause, or if there's any physical contact whatsoever. London says they also follow up when needed. That was the case with the Geigers. Deputies responded to a domestic call a month prior to the murder. A mental health deputy followed up the next day and Rory told them to stay away. By that time, Rebecca was already out of the house with her kids and she felt fine that everything was safe because she was in a safe environment. London says they couldn't do more, but dispatchers flagged the house. He says deputies can't take weapons unless an arrest is made. At some point, Rebecca returned to the home. There's a lot of variables on what goes into why People don't leave a household. You know, a lot of it is cultural, religion, economic issues. Because the Geiger case will go to a grand jury, London couldn't share the details of the previous domestic violence call. If you or a loved one are in need of domestic violence resources, you can call the domestic violence hotline at 1-800-523-3666. And here in the Metro, Heartland Family Services can take your call at 402-292-5888. I'll also post a list of resources under this story at KTV.com. Back to you. Jessica, thanks.